time, we'll get into prayer. This is a fast that even unbelievers are joining. This is a fast even unbelievers are taking it serious. So when you say you are a believer and you are not taking this fast serious, we we'll have the question even who you are. Unbelievers are taking the fast very serious. Not to talk of believers. The systems of advantage. Day one. Tell your neighbor, welcome to Mercy Platform. Now I need you to understand that whenever you see consistency in the life of a man, Never you be quick to think it was a coincidence. When you see a certain degree of excellence, of growth, of visibility and acceptance, you see a measure of authority in the life of a man. You will be very wrong to think it's a coincidence. When you see a man that is nothing in January become the most sought after in June, something happened. When you see a level of consistency finding expression in the life of a man, don't be quick to think it's grace. No. There are systems that ensure that people rise. There are systems. There are sets of principles that the moment you engage in them and you give yourself to those systems. There is something called rising that will appear in your life. There are a set of principles when a man obeys such things. The gears that are embedded in those principles cannot permit you to remain the same. The eventual resultant effect in the life of such a person is called the global acceptance. As their name connotes systems of advantage. That advantage there, I don't have time to persecute divine justice on them. But you need to understand that it's an advanced knowledge. You know, in, in, in your secondary school and primary school, you were taught that matter has just liquid, solid and what? Gaseous state. Now, when you get into advanced knowledge, you will see other forms of matter. Hey. You know, they said, just pray, God will answer. How many prayers have you prayed and there was no response? When you see a man cry, Jesus! And you see heaven responding immediately at all times. 
that is a system that the man has subjected himself to. When you see a man open his mouth and say, Father, I know you always hear me. And I know that thou hearest me even whenever I call. When you see a man proclaiming such statement, you, you will need to go into the, the archives of his spirit to download the information in PDF format of things you don't know. Because there are things that would never appear on Google. They are downloaded in PDF format. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, download the PDF format. The Wikipedias cannot carry 15 pages. PDF, some of them are 5,000 pages. So you have to download. It's called an advanced knowledge. For those of us who are downloading experts, there are some things you want to download. There is an information they will write for you at the, at the downside of it. And then they will say, this is an error download. But if you want to proceed, advance. Then when you click on that advance, it will carry you to another platform. It is on that platform that there is a space for such downloads. Why there is a lot of emptiness in believers, where there is a lot of lackadaisical act to non-talentness, is because the capacity of the human nature is so much string that they cannot download some PDF format. So if you want to do business with immortals, there is a need for you to understand that there is a PDF format that you need to download. But before you can make that download, there is something that needs to happen to your spirit. That is a shrinking on your spirit. That is why you, 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 you just wake up in the morning and you run off. And you, you, you think that because you have certificates, because your, your uncle is the governor, that you are meant to survive and succeed. I, I bring you good news. It does not work that way. It is those systems that engineer that man you are looking up to. And any day, whether negative or positive, that man violates the principles of those systems. Those systems will check him out. That is why you see people that get into governorship. That is one that just lost his position in Plateau State. The, there was an order by the Supreme Court to retrieve the card they gave him. Because humans don't sit on thrones. Thrones are meant for spirits. That you went to Harvard and Oxford is not a guarantee that you'll be successful in life. Listen, I have discovered that the best don't always make it to the top. Listen, if you must understand the systems of advantage in God, weakness is an advantage. I don't have time, I don't have time, but let me see what I can do in 15 minutes so we can pray. By tomorrow, I'll be starting the teaching at least by 5.10. So we just have 10 minutes of charge. And then we'll move to the world. Because this earth is densely information oriented. The information you don't have, you are gone. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 is our intent message today. He said, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. That we may obtain mercy and find grace. He said that you will find grace to help in time of what? Listen, let me tell you. If you think 
that because you woke up and walked from 8 a.m. till 3 a.m. is what will guarantee money in your hand. Think again. There is a system, an architectural design by, by the immortals that has engineered a prosecution that there is something when you obtain that thing will everly produce grace in hell. You are, there is something you are not seeing. He said to find grace to help. So before you can assess help, there is a sponsor that engineers the availability of help. That thing is called what? Grace. Grace is the content, but mercy is the container. If you are ever going to assess this thing called grace in your life, you better understand the technology of mercy. I was somewhere yesterday. Someone came for an interview and, and she was just sitting like this, lying down on, on a cushion for interview. The manager came out and was talking to her from behind. And she didn't even turn to respond to the manager. And the manager just came and tapped her at the back. I said, you should be an Igbo person. But she said, yes, it's Igbo. And she was still facing front. She doesn't know that her interview has finished. I wish I have time. I wish I have time. I wish I have time. Let us therefore come. See, the beating of the spirit is come. When God calls for a meeting, he's about to release secrets. He said, let us therefore, irrespective of the situation, come. Lord, I am weak and tired. Come. Lord, my legs cannot carry me. Come. You know, you sent your student. School opened on Monday. You sent your children to school. And you, you thought that that A is for Apple, is what they need. You are short of information. If you just gather them like that and package them to school. <laughs> Without letting them know what it means to come. When they will need help, they will not find it. He said, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. Let's come boldly. That we may obtain mercy and find grace to hell. Many believers don't know the system of mercy. Listen, whenever they say mercy, eh, to a large extent, believers think that mercy is for those who have sinned. May the Lord give you an understanding of the revelation of mercy. Papa E.R. Deboye went for a Egi Higgins conference. He knelt down for the two hours they said they should pray. He only said one word. Mercy. For two hours. You, you try sending it for five minutes, you'll find that your tank is empty. Jesus, how, how what am I going to do? Hebrews chapter 4, verse 2. That's right. I touch it, I touch it, I touch it, I move. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not do what? 
He did not do what? Did they hear the word? Yes. The word did not profit them, not be mixed with faith in them that did what? They did not understand the technology of acceptance and access. It did not profit them. I was speaking to the leaders a few minutes ago and I said, listen, if Jesus said, I will give you harvest and you did not go to farm to plant, eh? the harvest will be wheat. You will enjoy excess wheat in your farm. Die. Second Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 9. Mercy is the currency of the kingdom of God. Spend it generously. Don't withhold yourself from spending mercy. How that in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded unto the riches of their world. Liberality. At the same time, Listen. When mercy picks you up, the first thing it does is it removes your insufficiencies. It removes your limitation. The process of the civil analysis that the kingdom conduct is conducted through the channel of mercy. The entrance of love to the life of a man is from the platform of mercy. You know that man was condemned to death. Because of the iniquities of man, man was subject to internal condemnation. But God had mercy. And that was why they could not understand. The disciples of Jesus could not understand mercy. And they said, what manner of love is this? That a man should give his life for his friends. He said, when we are yet sinners, what did he do? He died for us. That word, that word death was a process of mercy. There was something embedded in that place that when you lose it, you will find out that the justice system of heaven, you can't stand it. And that is why he said, let us obtain, let us obtain, let us obtain mercy and grace for help in time of need. When you are asking God for mercy, what you are saying to God is close your face and do this for me. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain what? So, mercy is obtainable. Mercy is obtainable. Exodus 34 from verse 6 to 7. Mercy is obtainable. That thing called mercy, you can approach God and obtain it. And the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed the Lord. The Lord God, his what? His what? His what? So you are serving a God that is what? Merciful. Is a good information. Verse 7. Keeping what? So when you obtain, it can be kept. You can actually get mercy. Listen. When, when you meet a man that is not sponsored by mercy, you will know. If all one plus one in your life is equal to two, you lack mercy.
if all one plus one in your life is equal to two, you lack mercy. Because that is a normal additional word sequence. But if one plus one in your life is equal to eleven, then you are in the platform of mercy. Because what mercy does is that it picks up and then it multiplies. He said, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, and that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children, unto the Lord and to the fourth generation. But he is keeping mercy for thousands. He keeps mercy for thousands. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 4. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 4. I'm, I'm running because of time. But God is rich in what? Is it not a good info for you to get the understanding that you are not only serving the God that is rich in cars, God that is rich in wealth, God that is rich in influence and affluence. Is it not a good thing for you to also find out that your God is rich in what? mercy so there is no time you will ask him for mercy that he will be in lack of mercy majorly that's 90 percent of my prayers lord mercy return back to the sand where you were before you've left the platform of mercy he said, but God who is rich in mercy for his great love. Now, you, are you seeing that mercy is one thing that does not work alone? Have you seen it? Whenever you see mercy, he's dragging something with it. It's either grace is coming or favor is coming. At this case, is what? Love. The temple of mercy is the temple of sponsor. Lord mercy. And you are praying it with all your heart. My time is fast, my colleagues are over here. Now, I need you to understand this. We we'll just rush this. When you go home, you can look at Romans chapter 9, verse 15, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 31, Psalms 86, verse 5, Psalms 51, 1 and 2. Okay, let's just take Psalm 51, verse 1 and 2. Have mercy upon me. What? Oh God. According to what? You see, he's dragging something again. Are you seeing that he's dragging something again? Is never coming alone. The guy does not move alone. He's the Lord of hosts. When you catch him, he, there are things he pulls along with him. It's just like you coming to ask for just one bottle of water and then they give you a pack. That was mercy that worked there. No, there is a difference between forgiveness and mercy. When somebody forgives, like you stole my 20,000, the, the parameter of forgiveness is that I say, okay, forgive me, but return my money. That's forgiveness. But you know what mercy is? Mercy will say, I have forgiven you, you can still keep the money. Do you understand it too? Forgiveness, I have forgiven you, but what? I need my money back. But when that is on the platform of mercy, I have forgiven you. You stole the money, but you can still keep it. If the soap you take and bath is mercy, you will never be dead. It was mercy that David enjoyed. He was using the soap called mercy to bath. 
That was why on all his sins, God said, this is the man. <laughs> there is a lot of contradictions there now. You, know, you don't know. Eh? You slept with another person's wife as a king. You are supposed to be in the battlefield. You did not go. They wanted to tell you Israel's wife. So who is Israel? My friend, get that woman for me. At all costs, you got the woman. Brought the man. Forced him to do what he didn't want to do. He refused. You sent him to war to die. The man died. And then you came back and started crying for the child that you gave birth to. I need you to understand. This thing can't mess you somehow. David begins to cry. Oh Lord, I for my time. The Lord said, wake up. I have killed the child. Do you know that Solomon was a product of that marriage? Eh? Oh, you don't? Solomon was a product of that. What, what we call it? Is that adultery now? Eh? Is that daughter now? Solomon was a product of that thing. And I hope you know is the lineage of Jesus. The guy that eventually produced Jesus is that is that you know. So that would I ask him. Oh. The great grandmother of Jesus is that her lot. You know that her lot that they did not kill in Canaan. That welcomed the spies. What's that her name? Rehab. Eh? That's the great grandmother of Jesus. I said, that if your soap you are using to bath his mess, you can't be dead. There is a qualification. I don't have time to, to do this thing. There is a qualification. There is a way eh, to get this thing. Imagine you stole you stole somebody's money, and then the person called you and said, "Did this steal my money?" Say, "Hey, is it not common twenty thousand? You have disqualified yourself. There are there are three things I wrote here. I said one is the qualification for mercy. Number two is the administration for mercy, and then number three is benefits. I can't talk about this thing. I don't have time. But you need to know that there is a there is something that you do. Let me tell you one. You you know Solomon now. Eh? The guy collected rams and went to the altar and sacrificed. Eh? When he poured that libation there, God came to him. Ah, so low. What do I do for you? You know that guy later had 700 wives and 300 concubines. That's 1,000. Eh? And then they said, hey, so low. This thing that is not good though. He said, my friend can't sleep. God eventually visited him and said, Solo. Solo idiom. Solo, if not for the covenant I had with your father David. Solo. Solo, my mama. I, I would have dealt with you. But, but Solo, my hands are tied. Solo, you have won in the battle of life. I will wait for your next generation. Because... Solomon, where you are standing there eh, is called mercy. I can't. Solomon, you can't be dirty. You can't be guilty on the platform of mercy. Solomon, for that reason, there's no problem. But you see, I know that your student can be like you. Was it not David that said, Go and bring the utensils in the palace? Let me do that. They said, Nobody does that. Nobody ever drinks from the cup of the priest. He said, What is priest? My, I'm, I'm, I'm prophet and priest. I'm prophet. My friend, go and bring that. Eh. The guy collected the cup and drank the same thing that that guy did or that king did. And a hand wrote for him on the wall, Mene Mene Teken Ofasen. He said, you have been tried and you have been found one. The guy did that thing. And God said, David, do, sure. He said, eh, you can't tell Israel when I say you should not count. Not just that, you drank. You slept. You have found one thing. Now I will give you four punishment. Choose. The wise man said, No. Where I'm standing is called mercy. Now, based on the platform of this thing, I know. We don't choose. 
So you, that is the thing we are standing on that is called mercy, choose for us. Do you know that God didn't touch that guy? That four things he asked him not to do, he did not do it. He now went to his next generation and started waiting for him. You may not understand that, eh? but if mercy finds you, even though your purpose is not complete, they will allow you to pass. I don't have time. There, are, there, is, a, there is a way to administer it. One of such engineers of mercy is sacrifice. While I, 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 I gave God a heavy sum of money, about 1.3 million, as sacrifice. And then, just two days ago, the Lord came to me and said, He told me three things. He said this, he said this, he said this. When I woke up, I said I was not fasting. I know I was not fasting. And then he reminded me that Solomon returned from the altar of sacrifice. You know, that's why I'm strategic. I save my, I've started saving again for January next year. So that when, it, 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 do you know how many people that are fasting? Do you know the ancient doors that are open? Do you know men and Tibas and Caliber? Papa, he is fasting now. Papa, you know, boys, men of strange stature, they are, they are unlocking the gates of heaven. Is the right time to bring your sacrifice. I remember he said it's because of that sacrifice that I came. Meanwhile, he has never appeared to me like that when I fasted though. I have never seen Jesus in that reality. The picture is still in my face because it's just 48 hours. I said, ah, this is a window. Okay. Listen. If you don't understand the way mercy is administered, you will miss opportunities in life. I don't have time. Let's stand up and pray. I, I, I don't want to keep us beyond, beyond the necessary time. How, how do you explain that a man went in search of acts and returned back with a crown. How do you explain that? He left his father's house to look for the axe that was lost. The guy kept on gallivanting and moving around. Here comes him with Samuel and then Samuel looks at him and says, it's not because the Lord has made you the captain over the host of Israel. The guy did not. What are you talking about? I'm looking for acts. I didn't come to look for crown. He said unto him, I want you to move. Ask your servant to move. And then Samuel turns. And then Saul said, ask his servant to go. As his servant began to move, he turned and collected the oil and asked him to kneel down. How do you explain such things? How do you explain that a man went to give food to his brothers and the warfare and he came back as the king of Israel? He went as a boy and returned back as a man. How do you explain that? He went as a shepherd boy carrying food to his brothers. By the time he came back, the host of Israel was singing. Saul killed 1,000. David killed 10,000. How do you explain that to me? You can never. One thing I know that no man can ever explain in life is that in God mercy. And that is why he said, I think in the book of Romans, he said, upon whom I will have mercy, I will have mercy. What do you mean, sir? How do we explain that a man spent 45 years of his life and then just one hour
to his diet he finds jesus and dies and make heaven and then another person spent 45 years of his life serving god one hour to his death he loses faith and goes to hell how do you explain it can you pick up your voice and begin to ask for mercy i'll just give you 10 minutes and then we'll go just begin to talk to god oh just permit me to make it 15 minutes so you can pray begin to ask for god for mercy